Hi Pisces, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's up? Okay, so Pisces, um, with the Moon and the Six of Pentacles here. I feel that Pisces right now, you are at a point where everything is very foggy. Okay, things are in the unknown, you know, you guys are, you know, like in the dark, left in the dark. There is probably no movement in your relationship or in your connection and you don't know where something is headed out here. I think all you want is a balanced equal give and take. Okay, you probably are pretty fed up with a one-sided situation is what I'm getting here. Okay, I feel here that uh, everything's very foggy. Okay, you don't know where something is leading to. But I do feel that uh, you are probably trying to balance yourself, okay? More than wanting to balance other people here, or wanting to uh, have an equal give and take here, okay? I feel that you probably have always felt that you have received less, okay? And you give more. I feel you are in that path right now where uh, everything is in the dark, like I said, okay? Uh, which is what is leading to a lot of indecision, okay on your mind there could be a lot of fears okay that could be a lot of fears i feel a lot of fears and insecurities from the past okay you're projecting all those fears in the current situation right now so what i'm saying here is that there are chances that you don't know what's happening where okay you don't know what's going on at the connection you probably could be having a lot of negative thoughts and fears that maybe this person's moved on or maybe this person is with someone else blah blah, blah. but i do feel you it's only a part of your illusion okay most of the time this is someone who's a negative thinker pisces you can be a negative thinker a lot of times okay i do feel here uh with a page of phones and four of cups here that there are chances that you're trying to move on from this person is also what i'm getting here maybe you're trying to uh you, you know you're being very free spirited right now okay you're more like in that energy where like uh well it is what it is if i can't see what the future is uh you probably are not going to worry about it so much is also what i'm getting here eventually okay i feel you could be trying to explore your options okay you could be trying to move on i think a lot of you have tried to move on from this connection move on from this person trying to explore your options either you are with an option right now after ending a situation which is not making you emotionally happy you're emotionally very dissatisfied and discontented Either you are with someone here who's not making you emotionally happy, okay, although you try to move on from your ex, or you have a lot of opportunities around you, okay, but none of them uh, interest you. You're not picking up those opportunities here because you're too focused on what didn't work out or too focused on the past, too focused on what didn't work out with your ex, or too focused on the person that you had a breakup or a separation with where you wanted everything with that person here and it didn't work out. So even if you're trying to move on here, there are still chances that no matter how happy you try to be, the, that dissatisfaction is still there. People may not see it here, but it's like indirectly um, the universe is sending you options, but you're just rejecting those options, okay, without even trying to give them a chance is what I'm getting here. Overall, I do feel that you are trying to be very, very patient with the process here. I do feel that you're trying to heal there are chances some of you may even want a reconciliation with this person out here. But here, right now, you are at a point where you want to keep it very, very um, calm. You know, you're at that stage where you're into like calm waters, you know, you're just staying very still. Earlier, probably you wanted a resolution, you know, like, no, I want to know, is it a fucking yes or a no? Maybe you're coming from a point where you were like, you know what? No, I need to know right now. Very impulsive, okay? Probably you were overindulging into something, probably alcohol, or probably just, you know, overdoing something, okay? Which could have been like only you were very focused on this person, probably even getting obsessive about your ex, okay? But I think you're at a point right now where you just want to relax, you just want nothing on your mind. You just want to chill, you want to relax, you know? A few of you, I feel, could also be very focused on your career, your goals, your money, okay? But I feel right now you're coming up as a point where you just want to um, detach, detach from whatever's going on in your connection. You just want to do your own thing here, okay? But whatever you want to do, you want to do it very moderately. You want to do it very patiently, you know, cool, calm, composed, okay? Where uh, I feel you're reaching a point, Pisces, where you realize, you know what, um, if something's meant to be in your life, it will force itself back into your life let you know and prove to you that it is meant to stay and if something has got a fucking leave it will leave okay so i think you're reaching that point here <coughs> your person here 
you are dealing with someone here who probably is very, very uh, left out in the cold. Okay, this person feels isolated. They feel very left out in the cold. They probably feel like um, they're in a very uh, a bad place. Okay, like emotionally, they're in a very low place. That's a very lack energy. Okay, where they feel they don't have everything that they need. Okay, uh, to uh, be happy here. I feel that they could also be someone who has uh, probably a temporary financial hardship. That's for a few of you. For the other few of you, your person is probably going through a time where they feel lonely. They feel isolated. Maybe you're giving them the cold shoulder. Maybe you've blocked them out. You're completely not talking to them. But at the same time, they're still trying to get out of it. Okay. I think there's a lot of arrogance coming from this person's side. You know, it's like the sense of pride. Like how long am I going to stay in this shithole? Okay. Or how long am I going to be there? This person is hellbent on having success and victory with you is what I'm getting here. This person here is slowly but steadily trying to get out of that. They could be getting out of that uh, uh, low place that they are in. Okay. But they're trying to move forward. Okay. They're trying to get out of that sad energy and trying to gain that confidence, trying to gain momentum here. Okay. But this person is coming from an energy where they want victory, success with you. They want forward movement with you. Okay. For some of you, this person is really, really missing the attention that you used to give them. Okay. Maybe this person is someone who loves attention here and they want to come back towards you and want your attention here. But overall, I feel this person is definitely wanting to move towards you. They want to move in your direction. Six of Swords, Nine of Cups here. Another card which is confirming that this person wants to move towards their wish fulfillment. And you are their wish fulfillment, Pisces. Uh, for a lot of you, this person could be at a distance from you. So maybe this person wants to travel towards you. They want to stop that negative pattern, okay? So maybe this person knows you're the right direction here. They know you're the one that they want here. They know you're the one who they want forward movement with. But they probably kept on going around in circles, okay? They didn't do what they had to do to come towards you. They probably kept bouncing back, okay? Because whatever they have to do to come towards you is going to push them out of their comfort zone. If they want their wish fulfillment, which is you, then uh, they have to push a lot of boundaries, okay? They have to step outside their uh, world of comfort and come towards you, which is what they exactly are doing now. If you guys aren't talking, this person probably wants uh, some kind of reconciliation, you know, at least a communication reconciliation. They want to break the ice. If you are already talking here, this person probably wants to travel towards you. If there are small arguments here, they want to get into a better place with you. Okay. They want forward movement. They want movement here and their movement is coming towards their wish fulfillment, which is coming towards you. However, even if you make them very, very happy, you are the one that they want. No one else makes them happy here. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting here that both of you all try to move on. Both of you all try to move on. Okay, I'm getting here. But uh, you realize that no one makes you as happy as this person here. And this person realized that you are their wish fulfillment. Okay, which is why I think both of you all are going to collide again is what I'm getting. Overall, I do feel here that no matter how guarded this person is, right? I feel this person still wants a new emotional cycle with you. This person is very careful. Yes, they have paranoia. They have trust issues. The trust issues could be because something happened in the past because of which they don't trust you or something happened within the relationship, which makes them very careful. Okay. Which, which makes them think twice. So even if they're watching you from a distance, they're still doubting it. You know, like, I don't know if Pisces is still the right person for me, or I don't know, will that happen with Pisces? What if Pisces does this to me? Or what if this, uh, the history repeats itself? I don't know what it is, but this is definitely someone here who is very defensive, who's very guarded. It's like, you know, you have to do a lot. This person needs to have that 150% confirmation that you are trustworthy and you won't mean no harm to them. Okay. But they do love you a lot and they want an emotional cycle with you. They want a brand new beginning with you. They're coming in their own way, Pisces. I mean, it has nothing to do with you here. While you, on the other hand here, even though there's this uh, unknown energy around you, even though there's fear and stress and anxiety, I think you're trying to balance yourself out, okay? You're not overthinking things anymore. You're probably trying to balance out your karma or you're just trying to balance out your um, uh, faith and fear, okay? So I think all this while you were operating from fear, now you're getting to a calmer place where you probably are getting into some kind of faith here. Again, you probably could be reigniting the spark and trying to meet other new people out here, but I don't think it's working out for you, Pisces. And your outcome. <clears throat> Yet, someone out here, again, Pisces, you know how tarot works. It could be you, it could be the person you're dealing with, or a mix of both. Someone out here is so hurt by whatever has happened in the past. I feel this is your person here who is holding on to a grudge or who is doing a lot of negative self talk. 
negative self talk like i said right didn't i tell you about the five of pentacles your nine of wands here right they keep talking themselves down no matter how bad they want a new beginning with you they keep talking themselves down like it won't work out with pisces what if it doesn't work out you know so they try to convince themselves and try to find a lot of excuses that yes even though pisces is my wish fulfillment what if it's all hypothetical thinking okay what if it doesn't work out what if this what if that so this person here knows they're at the end of the cycle very close to achieving what they want with you but again I feel that someone out here is very, very serious about you. The, there's no fucking around here is what I'm getting. They know what they need to do, but it's their mind. It's their mind, which is stopping them from doing it. And that is negative self-talk. This person here has a heavy codependency. Although they may be addicted to you, they're obsessed with you, but there's a heavy codependency. Could be on fear. Could be on other people's opinions. Could be their family. Could be something that is stopping them from pursuing this relationship fully. And I think what is stopping them is their negative thought pattern. For some of you, this person could be married. There could be a third party situation. For some of you, you already know that there's someone who's already out there who's stopping them from coming towards you. So even if they're breaking their own heart here, even though they know what they want, they, they're just helpless right now. So I do feel here for a lot of you Pisces, this person here could be trapped into another relationship with a third person here or could be stopping themselves because of third party situation here. But I think very soon they will be moving towards their wish fulfillment, which is you. It's just about time till the time this person, this person needs to get out of that sabotaging energy, okay? This person needs to stop letting anyone else or anything else stop controlling themselves stop controlling them or their mindset this is the devil here so the devil creates illusions whether it be a person place think whatever it is okay it creates illusions here which makes you feel that you are restricted and you cannot achieve something but this just depends on the person's how strong the person's mind is okay how strong the person's um uh a willingness and determination they have to break through something to break through the chains and free themselves all right, Pisces. So I feel that this person does want to come towards you, but there's something that's keeping them stuck right now. Like I said, it could be a, a lot of things, a lot of things, okay? But um, if you know there's a third person that this person's involved with, then that's what's stopping them. If you don't know and you're not sure, then this could be anything else. It just does not, does not have to be a third party as a romantic connection. It could be finances, it could be work, it could be fear, it could be uh, addictions, it could be family. Anything, anything, all right? But something's stopping them from coming towards you. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.